All right, what's up, y'all? It's Kari Zane, and I'm back with another video. I'm back at it. Hey, this video, I'm going to get straight to it. It's about you being confused. Who's confused? Am I confused or are you confused? Let's get down to it. So, there's a lot of confusion going on. And oftentimes, I get comments. I get people, they be like, you confused. They tell me that I'm confused. Or they be like, no, because I uh, it was on a, somebody made a comment on the last video I made about the dark truth about being trans. He's like, the dark truth is accepting a confusion. I'm like, bro, nobody's confused but you. You calling me confused? Okay, this you this this is confusing. <laughs> All right, anyways, man, I'm 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 messing with y'all head, but for real though, I'm not confused. I'm gonna get that. Let me get down to it. I'm not confused. I know who I am. When I say I am a transgender man. Do you know what transgender means? Like, do anybody know what transgender means? Raise your hand if you know what it means. Transgender literally means you identify as another gender than you were assigned at birth. I was assigned female at birth. I don't identify with that anymore. I identify as a man. That's what transgender means. I never, ever, 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 ever said I was born a man. And I am a man. I never said that. I never said I was born a man. I always said I'm a transgender man. That's what that means. That's it. That's what it means. So where 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 is the confusion? How 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 is that confusing? Oh, wait. You don't think that being transgender is a real thing. You don't think that gender is a social construct. You don't think that sex is a spectrum. All of those things are facts. Sex, sex, your sex, like female, male, I'm AFAB. That means I was assigned female at birth. And the reason I say assigned female at birth is because they go by genitalia. Most of the times they go by genitalia. They look at what you have between your legs and they say, oh, are you a boy or a girl? Now, sex is a spectrum. There are more than two sexes, okay? So all that coming on here saying that God only made two sexes, you are lying. You are lying. There are more than two sexes. You know why? Because there is something called intersex people. That means, you know what an intersex person is? That means that, you know, what they physically look like, you know, they have different genitalia. Some 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 intersex people have both. They have like a, a a penis and a split. Yeah, they have both. Or some of them, they may look like me, right? They may look like look like a boy, but they have a split. They don't have or they may not have no balls. Or they may not have no penis at all. But they'll have a split. Some intersex people, they may look was deemed as feminine. They may have, you know, female features or woman features. They may have breasts. They may have, you know, the, you know, female. They look like a girl. You know what I'm saying? Phys like, yeah. But their genitalia, they may have a penis. And they were born that way. So how is it just you're either female or male? Those people are intersex. There's more than two sexes. And what I mean by gender is, gender is, that's that's a social construct. We all know that. The idea of man, woman, sometimes they do it based off physicalities, what you physically look like. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Where's the confusion? How How am I confused about who I am when I'm literally telling you who I am. I said, I am a transgender man. Oh, wait, y'all don't acknowledge transgender people as people, as a real thing. That's a real thing. If you, if you are assigned female at birth and you no longer identify as that, you no longer, especially if you're on hormones, you no longer look like that, especially when the world don't perceive you like that. You don't perceive yourself as the gender you was assigned at birth, right? Other people don't. I don't look like a woman. I don't sound like one. I like a young boy. I said, a young male. That's what I look like. When I go out in the world, people don't see a girl. They address me as sir. They don't hear. They they see this 
atoms I put in, facial hair coming in, like they don't, it's just not what they see. The world is physical. I'm sorry, but it is. It's physical more than it is spiritual. We, we really supposed to be operating on our spirit, but it's physical. But I'm just trying to figure out where and how am I confused? And then people love to say, oh, God didn't make it this way. Look, don't didn't ain't don't God know your life before you know it? <laughs> the, you know what I'm saying? Like people love to bring religion and all of that into this. I'm like, bro, don't bring God into this because that don't make no sense. It don't. And so my like, oh, God didn't make you that way. Obviously he did. If I'm living my life like this, like obviously he did, like, cause God knows your life. Be from beginning to end. Before you were even born. Didn't y'all say that? Like, come on now. Don't contradict yourself. I don't know. I don't read the Bible. Who knows? But yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where's the confusion. So when somebody tells you, look, I don't identify with the gender I was assigned at birth. That means trans. Do y'all know what trans mean? That means change. Trans means change. You change your gender. You change the way you identify. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Because when you physically look and sound like that, well, we, it's possible because when you see yourself as that in your head, that's just what it is. But when you bring along hormones and all this different type of stuff in there, the world is very physical. It's easy. You see what I'm saying? It's the way the world perceives you. Like, when you go out in the world every day, that's, that's just what they see. It's not my fault the world is physical. It's just what it is. But I'm, I'm still confused about how you confused about me. No, you just choose to not acknowledge who I am. I know exactly who I am. Talking about the confusion. The confusion. I'm telling you I am a trans man. I'm telling you that I was I'm not I wasn't born a man. I'm telling you that. That's what transgender means. That means you changed your gender. So how how are you still confused about who and what I am? How? Oh wait. You don't acknowledge transgender people as people. And this is where I go to say that's why when you do identify with this transgender stuff, you're not human. People don't see you as a human. They don't see you as a person anymore. They don't want to acknowledge you as a human being. I want to say it's dangerous. Straight up, it's dangerous. You got to be on your P's and Q's. You got to be looking over your shoulders at all times. You can't really trust nobody, to be honest. You can't really let your guard down. You got to watch everybody. I'm not going to get on. I'm not trying to scare nobody or nothing like that. But I'm telling you right now, watch your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? And it's best, you know, to believe in something greater. You know what I'm saying? A stronger force or a stronger power, the greater good. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that is, a higher power, a God, a, 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 the planet, the universe, whatever you believe in. But you're going to need a strong spirit. You're going to have to make your spirit real strong because these, these people will try to break you. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't see you as a human being. People just, they just don't want to acknowledge you. You're just, you're just not, that's what I'm saying. Like people are, oh, oh you're just accepting the confusion. How? I'm telling you, I am a transgender man. I never said that I was born a man. I never said that. That's what trans mean. It means changed the way you identify in society. I'm trying to see how are you confused and what are you confused about? Oh, yeah. You don't see us as people. You say there's two sexes when there's not. There's not two sexes. There's not two sexes. And the reason I say gender is a construct because, okay, what if a person is intersex and they may look like a like a man, like, you know, top part may look like a man, but they have a split between their legs. So you're going to call them a female just because they have a split. But they was born that way. But you didn't know that until you went down there and looked at that. But when you seen from here up, you saw what physically look like a man. That's why I say it's constructed. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Sex is a real thing. But gender is constructed. Sex is a spectrum. 
Gender is constructed. That's all I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on now. I'm trying to see where is the confusion. These are facts. People love to talk about biology and science. This is biology. This is facts. This is facts. Sex is a spectrum. This is facts. Don't even bring chromosomes into this because people are like, oh, you still have X and Y chromosomes. Um, there's a woman on TikTok who has male chromosomes and she's full-blown woman. Like, born a woman, identifies as a woman, nothing, looks, got, got the whole nine, like a woman. So, that's why I say, sex is a spectrum. See what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to figure out where is the confusion? How are you confused? This is science we're talking about. These are facts we're talking about. How are you confused? Oh, wait. Like I said before, you're not confused. You just don't want to acknowledge the real. And then people like to call us delusional and stuff. No, no, no. You're delusional. These are facts I'm talking about right here. Facts. This is science. Biology. You can go look it up. Sex is a spectrum. Gen the reason why I say gender is a, a, a construct because they socialize you. They they construct you based off what you look like physically. You know what I'm saying? Because people, you'll never know really what's between somebody's legs. You can run into an intersex person any day who has both genitalia, who have neither genitalia. You just never know. That's why I say sex is a spectrum. So I don't understand where the confusion when these are facts. You just want to stick to what's normal, what's normal. And there's no such thing as normal. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I just wanted to get that off my chest because I'm like, people are like, you're confused, you're confused. I'm like, how? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody confused but you. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for this video. Hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here.